Scorpio, welcome to your reading. Sorry, my camera is a bit far away. <laughs> um, it's uh, the middle of July, uh, the 13th of July to be exact. Scorpio, uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising and moon signs. Take what resonates for you only and uh, leave the rest. Um, leave a comment. Uh, always appreciate hearing from you all. Like, uh, subscribe. I also have another channel, Growing Slowly But Surely, that is Collective Readings. If you want the personal readings, uh, reading, uh, readings, yeah, uh, contact me via the link provided below. Uh, the readings have been going well, so uh, whereas I have, uh, you know, initially love, uh, love is, uh, you know, you know, that is, those that have followed me is, uh, that, that is my thing, but I also see that, um, sorry, I've been making myself a smoothie, so I have like dust on my <laughs> hands. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are, uh, well, I've extended it to one hour actually, because every time I did a reading, most of them is like either a bit over 45 minutes or just an hour anyway. So yeah, you can reach out to me. And also of course, then I focus on you. You can also share your birth dates uh, if you want like a compatibility report as well. Anyhow, just contact me there. Scorpio, now this is your reading. I'm going to look into a situation in love and any other messages that is showing up for you at this time. So, in love at the moment, um, no one is taking action, not you, not your person or other people. You feel that you are sitting with your arms crossed and kind of not knowing if you want love. Uh, for many of you, you have healed from heartache more than once. Maybe you've had three significant heartaches in your life for various reasons. There will be a time now coming in where the energy will shift. There is new attention on you. And that also means uh, celebrating success people giving you attention, but you're giving yourself attention, you're giving other people attention. It's a fun energy as well. You have many energies searching, viewing you. You, a Scorpio, you could find that you are people from the past, not necessarily, well, someone that want to date you in a, this context, it can be. But anyhow, it seems like everyone that you've, encounter in a lifetime that are still around uh, and that have access to you are looking at you and they are giving you attention you could be surprised you have many wanting to reach out to you to connect with you Scorpio I do see that could leave you a bit up in the head uh, up in your own head uh, as well maybe some of you have Aquarius especially if you have Aquarius as a moon sign. Anyhow, there is a shift in your journey, uh, Scorpio, and there's a shift in your love life as well. You could receive a surprise invite, a surprise message, uh, a person that you kind of forgotten about, uh, for sure. There is a, yeah, a surprise. We also are moving into Mercury retrograde and it is known for bringing in past energies. But again, I'm picking up, it's not really about the past, past like um, a person that is the same person and you have to duck away. It's not like that. It's actually people that you want to hear from. <laughs> it's reminding you of, oh, uh, that there are many people that you've encountered in your life that maybe you have even thought of because there could be something that, you know, you have been caught up in your own head about. So I'm going to look into someone that is showing up in your reading. Now, they could have fire to elements in their child. Maybe Leo, we have Gemini and we have Taurus. Um, also Libra, I'm getting for now. Again, there's unknown, something unknown that will come to the surface. We are going to clarify with this. So who is this person scouting for Scorpio and why? The Page of Swords. What are they looking at? If you see here, there is Page of Swords, Page of Cups and Page of Wands, which is usually a new beginning and a connection that you have not explored in the past, mostly. Or this is someone that you've had an encounter with. There was um, feelings between you at some point. 
But for many of you, you this is not the person, the re most recent person. But however, you decide that because when you turn up to a reading, this has to do about your feelings. Don't forget that. It's not about, <laughs> it's not about me, the rainbow wizard, telling you who you have feelings for. You know who you have feelings for. And that's why people turn up to readings because nobody really talks the truth about who they have feelings for. Most of the time people talk about people they don't want in their life, but how often then uh, do you hear a year later, are you still in touch? Yeah, yeah, we met up so many times. Oh, I thought you said that you didn't like this person. No one, no one ever speaks the truth about their feelings to the rest of the world. Like I have never heard it once. <laughs> that's why you're here. So that's what I'm getting. Now, yeah, king of wands in reverse. This is someone a little reckless, uh, seeming very confident, but then actually they are not confident. Their self-esteem isn't really in check. This person can be a bit... Um, flamboyant as well but with the king of uh, ones in reverse they only on the surface are they representing some positive traits because the king of ones is someone that is positive i know sometimes we bring up in in, in tarot the there are certain energies that might be repeated as a bad uh, person that's not the case the king of ones is someone that is passionate they are a good leader they are warm they are kind they are fun as well. But when you see them in reverse, those traits will then be in reverse. So often the negative. Now, this person is someone that want to come out of hiding. They don't want to be a secret admirer. If they breadcrumb before, that is not the, how they want to proceed anymore. They are slow to take action, but this person, they've had some kind of a spiritual um, experience as well. With the lovers, they hope to connect with you uh, in the romantic way. It is possible, Scorpio, that the person that you are going to deal with or hear from, there's the three of swords. I'm getting a third party situation. They were dishonest about someone else in their life. There was a breakup. This is that, um, well, I would call it a classic, the lovers, okay? You had a blooming romance, finding out that this person, they hurt you because they chose someone else or you hurt them because you chose someone else. They, however, regret it. They regret it. They are coming out of hiding. Double Ten of Swords is telling me that this person might. It's likely here that you will say no to this person. Um, it's likely here that because they came towards you in the past with uh, perhaps in another commitment or they didn't want commitment or they came across breadcrumbing, they took too long, they didn't really follow up. I see that they view you, Scorpio, as someone that is, have your hands tied, you're not going to reveal anything. Uh, they are viewing you as probably <laughs> speaking a harsh truth to them. I'm picking up this person's energy is lurking more in the background. They're lurking here. I feel this, okay. So I do feel this is someone that is going to get a lesson from you, Scorpio. I feel that you are going to give give them a lesson or a piece of your mind. It's likely as well uh, because they are going to, um, yeah, they are lurking. That's that's all I'm going to say, lurking around you, <laughs> ready to give you attention. But hey, in that their actions, they might have failed several times. They have to um, repair the damage that they have caused. First, they have to repair themselves before they take a leap. They are going to come clean. They are going to come out of a silent period. Yeah. This could be happening behind the scenes for a very long time. Uh, most of you probably know who this person is and this might be the person that you say, oh, that's been an ending. No, this is not the one. Uh, Definitely don't want to repeat nothing with this person. This is why I'm here in the first place. So that uh, that person is still around you uh, in, in your energy. But it looks like uh, Scorpio, so now I'm going to clarify you. This is going to be you that decide where they end up in your life. 
basically. So why do we have the Wheel of Fortune for Scorpio? Mm, yeah, you're going to get out of your head. You're going to realize who made you feel stuck in your head. Um, yeah. Queen of Swords in reverse. You are... Yeah, there is a new beginning and an ending is going to remain an ending. Third party came up here, someone they might live with, they didn't tell you about. You don't want attention from them in order to heal. Okay, yeah, so this, this, this is someone that, yeah, this is someone that you will not give any more chances. What's going to happen with this situation, Scorpio, is that you are definitely going to tell them a piece of your mind but in a way that is going to sink in. If this is someone that is, I'm getting this vibe of, oh, but you know, I, I love you anyway. You know, they, when you reject them, they're like, oh, but I love you anyway. As if, uh, as if that is sort of, of course, you know, I'm going to love you no matter what you say. So of course I'm going to be around you. So you're going to be like, well, it, it doesn't matter to me whether you love me or you hate me. Uh, that is irrelevant to me. So you are going to give them a piece of your mind. Uh, that might shock them. You're going to, and that's other energies as well. You're going to say to someone that could come towards you and be like, oh, you, but you are my holy grail, Scorpio. I mean, you know, through all these times, even if this happened, I always love you. I will always do what's right about you. And you're going to say, well, you didn't do what's right uh, for me. And I don't care about your thoughts, whether you hate me or love me, it's irrelevant to me. So you're going to approach it this way. You are not going to be held hostage by someone uh, pouring whatever uh, attention to you and then going to put you in a bracket. Oh, you might not be feeling well today, Scorpio. Are you unstable? Are your mind unstable? This is someone that has a few screws loose and whatever they say, it's not really relevant. They think it's relevant because that's how they have been acting since they were a child. It is the words of a child. It's a child that have learned to speak and act certain ways. And maybe it did get them a certain way or cert to a certain extent with you, Scorpio. But now you know that this person, they are not ever going to take what, as long as you are in contact with them, as long as you even give them a breath your their way, they believe that you are somehow mentally unstable and when you are going to be mentally stable you are going to of course tell them oh what? gosh what was i thinking of course you didn't mean it <laughs> so i see that you are going to uh give this person uh you're going to cut them out like they've never been cut out before So yeah, there, there's no, uh, you are not going to be held hostage of this energy that you might have even held yourself hostage. You're going to cut them out. Uh, because I see here, there's been some kind of uh, opening here to like, oh, if they might do or say what's, r what's right, maybe it was worth it. Or there's just something about a thought process around it, but you don't really care about it anymore and you're realizing actually if I don't care about this person but I, I am also in touch with them well I am then not different if I because it looks like this person this person if they think whatever they think because I might be in their life somehow I mean that's not their problem not yours but if they are going to sort of take action on them or bother me with their you know whatever <laughs> whatever is going on with them again you are going to show this person that you don't care about it but you're going to show them in a way that they really have no access to even come back to you and say anything there will not be no possibility for this person to even say oh but 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 oh but but this have a look at this one you are just yeah you are just uh, plain and sim simply removing this person out of your brain 
and the way you look and treat them will be like the Queen of Swords in reverse, quite <laughs> cutthroat. And uh, sometimes then it can be good to be the Queen of uh, Swords in the reverse because it looks like there is an energy here that is the only way you can deal with someone. And that is actually going to give them this ending where they, they are going to have to pull out the swords out of their back. It, it has to do with someone that is... There is a, has been an ending. They believe that if they come back uh, in a certain way and give you attention, that you are that, that is that cycle uh, you have with them. And then you are viewing them as very childish, very immature, um, and realizing that it's like, it might even, it, you know, it takes two to tango, right? <laughs> Maybe it was a game that you did enjoy at some point, right? Sometimes we even enjoy arguing with people. Sometimes when people just throw themselves in front of us, whether it's in a work family or whatever, you can even enjoy arguing with them, but you're getting triggered by just, just because, or, you know, it's just, you get into this kind of thought process that isn't really healthy. And yeah, that's changing. Uh, for you, Scorpio. Now, I'm going to clarify a little bit deeper what is coming towards you. Most importantly, what is coming towards you uh, and what you want <laughs> to come towards you, most importantly. Please give me messages for Scorpio. And who is coming towards them? that they want to be with. <laughs> Who is coming towards them that is the one? Their person, their life partner, their relationship, their joy. All right, this could be an, um, a Cancer, Sagittarius. This could be an Aquarius. Um, this could be Uh-huh, yeah. The reason for this mayhem <clears throat> that escalated a bit with you and this past person is because of uh, confusion in love and them keeping options uh, as in to save them for a rainy day and not con connecting with the actual, actual journey that was presented to them. So I'm picking up someone that is born on the cusp of Sagittarius and Scorpio with the King of Wands and the... Um, the death card. The star is you receiving um, public recognition with the six of wands and also support from places that maybe you didn't think that was relevant for your success. Uh, this will reset something for you and uh, it's going to put you on the path of um, being very sure of what you need to do when it comes to self-love. You've gained strength from the past interaction with this person and the strength was necessary. You are going to clear your mind, uh, Scorpio. You're going to... Yeah. For many of you, you are going to move forward with the one and that person will show up as someone that have very similar characteristics perhaps as you. Again, it could be another water sign. Of course, on paper, that is ideal. But you are going to open up to someone that is aligned with you and where you are right now. But it's necessary for you to speak your mind to someone. Uh, so again, keep picking up someone born on the cusp either of, sorry, Scorpio, uh, Sagittarius. So between the 20, 20th of November to the 23rd of November or 24th of November or someone that's born uh, between the uh, 22nd to the 26th of December. It's very specific, but that's significant uh, dates there. Anything else here for you? I'm going to pick this deck. What's going on? Someone definitely have to be... And I won't even clarify a, so much about a person that you're going to eliminate. 
This could also be Scorpio actually you eliminating is more than one person. It can be other people in your life as well. Uh, you're eliminating an, uh, energies that are just launching themselves at you and using the trying to trap you based on but you must stay here for me Scorpio I love you I need you there's a lot of I in it so you're not really being manipulated or taking into consideration whether someone use I love you or I hate you it's kind of irrelevant because it has the, the word I in it when someone used the word I it has always to do with that person you're freeing yourself from anyone that is coming towards you with a label uh, thinking that you will have any kind of reaction or uh action or a place in their life because they are using the word I I do so and so with you so therefore I'm expecting you to take these action you are moving away from that way of thinking yeah again freeing yourself from your own mind there is justice here you're getting out of this trap uh, there's been a mental trap you got yourself into Mm, heavy thought process that's been around you for quite some time, uh, Scorpio. With the chariot and the here again, we have the temperance, the the lovers, uh, the new beginning. So there's someone you will have a new beginning with, but it requires for you to uh, free your free your mind, move into a different path completely. Maybe you're traveling. Um, again, the star sign coming towards you might not even resonate at all. I, I don't even want you to think about the actual star sign. It is kind of irrelevant here because oh, oh, it's yeah, it's just saying that, uh, that that's the message that I'm getting at the moment. It's uh, it's a journey where you will yeah. Someone that's been on, off, slow, they're not slow, wearing a mask, they're not wearing a mask, uh, they're coming back, they're not coming back. This a karmic past uh, connection with them that have brought you like in a, <laughs> a loop, you, you are, you are going to manage to cut them out of your mind with the Queen of Swords. And, and that is what really matters, again. Uh, no one's words about cutting anyone out is going to mean anything. It's depending how you feel. Very rarely people speak about how they feel. You do not decide always that with your words. It's impossible. <laughs> uh, only time, only time can, even if, you know, when you deal with someone that hurt you, you will love this person for quite some time and long for this person. It is how the brain is wired. It is impossible to cut out feelings because of someone's action overnight. It is impossible almost to do that. Um, but there will be a mixed bag of emotions. But yeah, you will have a free will not to talk to the person. It's not that. But there will be a freeing of your own thoughts about a situation. Someone won't be able to get in under your skin and your thoughts anymore. That is, that's a natural healing process that you've been going through and that's going to release you from uh, this wrath, <laughs> this cycle that you got yourself into and you feel that, ah, will, will I ever get out of it? But you're probably going to look at it as well. It's like, well, of course I have something to do with it. It's not like no one, absolutely no one is, it's very rare that someone uh, is like not doing anything at all and someone is just out like throwing rocks at their window there's been something that has led them on your path and so you're finding out what that is and you are taking responsibility and you are also then saying okay this is what I have to do in order for this person to stay out of my mind you can't it doesn't really matter if you block someone or you know, remove them from your, your life because then you're even like demonstrating to the universe that you are trying in such effort to leave them out of your mind that they're never going to leave your mind. Sometimes, uh, you know, it was what they say, keep your friends close and your enemies even closer. It's, it's your feelings that defines the distance you have to someone. It isn't the actual measurements. Most of the time, it's not that at all. So you are protected, um, yeah. 
letting go of control issues, allowing any situation to unfold naturally. Heart to heart conversation. Yeah, the ending states an ending. Uh, finance and career. Uh, expressing your your uh, love. Okay, so there is someone that is could have a child. They could struggle with finances. There is a message of concern. Right, this person could be trying to come into your life. So if you've had back into your life because you have a child or you have a, a, you know better economy, you can help this person. Da 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 da. Main male. Someone here is coming to in to offer you uh, love in desperation, uh, and that desperation is going to be you know you're going to see the desperation in their eyes and in their behavior, and you're going to see that. It's not genuine and it doesn't really matter if it's genuine or not because now you don't have any feelings for them. But you're going to really see it very obvious that what they're trying to do and it's it's sounding uh, and seeming very desperate. You're going to see someone fall from grace. You're going to see someone looking desperate and looking in poor shape and uh, you are going to ignore this person like no tomorrow basically. You're gonna show them that you don't even need to stay away from them. You you you'll be you, you can happily have them out in your garden, and you're gonna have no feelings for them, so you're not gonna care. That is going to be what uh, puts you to like on a separate path. Like you're just gonna treat them like they don't exist because you don't feel they exist. They don't exist in your world because you have actually released them. That's going to be the difference, and that's how you're attracting in this new soulmate, um, Scorpio. Because your heart and thoughts are freed of however someone managed to spin a web, a web a, sorry, in your mind, mental entrapment, like restricted, helpless, illusions, victimized, powerless, imprisonment, suffocated, smothered. You're going to realize that it's not, no one can do that to you. No one can keep your, your prisoner from the world because you are hiding from this person. Some, some of you could have even tried to hide just hide, hide away. <laughs> then you're hiding away from everyone else as well. Something like that. You're going to free yourself and it's not going to matter. Like this person is not going to matter at all. And it's not like you have to dehumanize them or anything. It's like a completely neutral feeling that you they are just ending up in zero because you're taking the, the leaps. So it's like, and it's also not beneficial to, um, of course, constantly every day think oh look over my back oh my god this person oh my never never gonna go back there it's uh, you are going to really free yourself Scorpio off this whole thought process of feeling that someone is trying to get into your mind uh, being triggered by someone trying to contact you you're releasing a trigger because your mind is going to be occupied with something else and as you manage to do that uh, yes yeah, your life will take a new turn, especially your love life. Uh, we have the healing, the, I don't know how you say it, Kieran. So, yeah, allow the pain and troubles of the past to become the wisdom and compassion of the present moment. So, yeah, again, as you embark a new journey, just out in the open, uh, Scorpio, it can feel like it's setting off to touchy memories and poking you where it still hurts. But uh, take the opportunity to heal the wounds as you transform as well. It's like a situation of hurt becomes familiar, but it actually doesn't really. It's an old pain that is triggered and it's you realizing that you are a lot more than your troubles. And you actually know the route to get through your troubles. And... It is really the time, as Scorpio, to practice what you know. When you have a solution, add it to your toolkit. It's going to test you. It's a training for the hero within you. What you're learning now can be your secret sauce in the future. Find a purpose to all your problems. Hard-earned wisdom is now relevant and needed. You don't have to assign casualty. You might never know why you went through a difficult time. But you can put what you learn from it to good use. So it is. This is um, a time for healing karmic tenderness. Uh, it can feel a little bit raw 
at times, but it's fine. You got this. There's a spiritual union coming in because of this. It's all your it's when you're realizing the actual whole journey in your life about people you meet is always to do with how you feel at the time when you meet someone. It's never really about an accident to meeting. Um, so you're analyzing, are they giving you energy or taking it away? Is there an even exchange? In the past, there wasn't. And why wasn't there? So usually, yeah, any relationship is a mirror to your own life. They reflect how you feel and treat yourself and how you react and respond to various situations, individuals around you. Each opportunity in all for a spiritual union is an opportunity for the new. And that can feel very raw. I, I'm seeing here, Scorpio, that you are throwing yourself out to the lion's den. But it's necessary for you to free yourself. It reminds me even of, well, I can't even imagine... Uh, like ce celebrities going through a heartbreak and then they have to go out and buy a magazine. Just say if they decide never to go out past that a shop or never go to and to see that because they want to avoid it at all costs, right? And then one day it's just like, okay, how, how long are you going to avoid it? So it's something that actually, um, yeah, it's like you're going to throw yourself out, it, out into it. Uh, whatever is going to be you're faced with, yes, you have an opportunity to look away. Yes, you don't have to put yourself in the middle of it. But actually, it's not really going to be that painful. Someone is thinking that because you will miss them, you will feel like, oh, thanks God, they're back into my life kind of thing. And, you know, something will um, start up again with this person. You are not going to feel this way, I'm seeing. And it's necessary to face someone head on. Anything else for Scorpio? Okay, so let's need to shuffle a bit more. Yeah. Someone's leap of faith towards you will be rejected. A person that is coming towards you could have Libra, Aquarius, Gemini in their chart. They could also have picking up Pisces in their chart. You could meet this person in a work situation. They could be born on the cusp of Leo and uh, Gemini, I'm getting. A person that you haven't heard from for a very long time uh, is someone that is suddenly going to appear in your life and you're going to realize that as you, know, as you might have been focused on who you don't want to see or... Like one thing you have forgotten that time has passed. What happened to all the thoughts that you had before about other people in your life that maybe was put on a back burner? Maybe you forgot about them. Other people took presence in your life that wasn't really that important or their, their time in your life is truly up. So yeah, you are going to use, again, like I said here, your inner wisdom, your inner knowledge. You're going to be also very practical Scorpio. You are going to release uh, confusion, someone that held you prisoner. You are going to release that fully uh, here, uh, Scorpio. You're no longer going to be a victim of someone trying to hold you to... It's very complicated in some ways, but it has to do with someone's complications. Um, they are, you know... Uh, yeah, they are, they are pouring their chaos out on you and they've been doing it again and again and again. Their failures uh, is almost like they want them to be your failures as well. Like this person wants you to have this attachment to them forever. They believe that they have a different measure of what is a long-term connection, basically. So their, their measure, again, is not going to matter to you. So again, this is a measurement of a child. So the child could be, well, we actually shared this playground for a very long time. Do you, do you remember that I put my initials on the, you know, this one? So that's now mine. And you'll be like, uh, what, what, whatever happened here <laughs> 10 years ago, you know, is irrelevant. But someone it will be saying, yes, of course it's relevant. But they have the, the mind of a child. So maybe at some point you you took everything this person said to heart because you took it as positive signs, but even though you deep down knew underneath that this person don't have, they are, 
they are very much ungrounded, uh, not willing to face their pain, trying to hold on to, to, to thin, uh, you know, like it's a thin straw or I don't know, just something that doesn't even exist in their life. They have to let it go because they are not a child, they are at grown up at the moment. So yeah, a person that is coming into your life, um, Scorpio, I'm picking up Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, and um, Scorpio, sorry, yeah, <laughs> the most important one. This is a unified love, partnership, mutual attraction, proposal, marriage, connection. This is going to bring about the passion in you. This is going to bring about the you that you have been craving to, dis to connect with, that perhaps you disconnected on a journey with someone else, and now this journey uh, is finally over, and the new journey is beginning for you one where there is a lot of happiness. Scorpio, if this reading resonated with you, please like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment as well. And I do wish you a wonderful weekend, uh, Scorpio.